So we, is it time to it's go? It's time for what? What are we calling this again? Outrageous orc tales. Outrageous orc tales. Orc tales. Orc tales. Outrageous orc tales. We just made this Woo. shit up like five seconds ago, which is why we, we don't do. have some sort of screen. But no, we're not ready for it. Look, <laughs> look, look <laughs> forward to it. Ready for look it. forward to it in the near future. <laughs> Yes. So uh, apparently, everyone, hide your kids, hide your wife, because Al Qaeda is putting razor blades in pizza dough. Mm, not Al Qaeda. Factually accurate. Mm, so no. razor blades have been found in pizza dough <laughs> as an ex employee <laughs> is arrested. What is the. Oh Scott my God. Scott put a razor blade in his pizza, <laughs> the world's biggest I, razor blade. I mean, or were you cutting your pizza with a razor blade? I mean, if you're going to slice your pizza up, nothing better than a perfect blade. Maybe if that's why this guy did it. A former pizza company employee has been arrested in the U.S. Yeah, after and, a customer found a razor blade. And that's this guy. <laughs> that is, yeah. yes. His name is Sako Hannaford, so fuck that guy. He, he, looks, looks, uh, he looks like he's related to Jim Jeffries. <laughs> oh, wait, never mind. Sako Hannaford's supermarket. That's the name of the supermarket. That's not the, you, His name is Nicholas name. Mitchell. That's the whitest name of all time. Uh, he was a former pl employee of It'll Be Pizza. Real original. It'll be pizza. Which manufactures the dough. Surveillance shows the man tampering with the products. And, and next the motive week, has yet and next to be week they arrest this guy again for child pornography. Just look at that face. You know, he's oh. not Hunter Biden. Calm down. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> it's, I'm just saying, he fucks little kids. Um... <laughs> So, so the suspect, he, the Nicholas Moretti, the whitest man on earth, or Mitchell, the former member of Al Qaeda, was arrested in New Hampshire after police put out an appeal. I thought Wouldn't they put you out. Would you notice that there were razor blades in your pizza before you ate it? I, I, I also not really. I thought I saw something about a story where like he was putting it in like prepackaged pizza dough somehow. Yeah, he's, he was ma he was making dough that they sell. So I guess when you get your hands in there and you knot it up, you're gonna get you're gonna get your hands cut up. But even you ain't gonna stick it in your mouth. But even then, razor blades work on the premise of slicing, which means if you just randomly grab one in pizza dough, you're gonna take your hand off and be like, "What's this hard ass thing in my pizza?" And you'll find a razor blade. It's not so necessarily saying, it's not necessarily gonna cut up whoever's trying to knead the dough. So you're saying this is poorly executed? Absolutely poorly executed. If I was gonna hide razor blades in something, I'm gonna stop talking right now. Well, that's your that's your Halloween tip I thought, for the day. Don't if people hand if you do go trick or treating and someone hands you a slice of pizza, or they just give you raw dough in your hand as you trick or treat, make sure there's no razor blades in it. Folks. I like how people like this year they're talking about trying to keep it safe, so they're, everyone's building like these elaborate like PVC pipe systems to deliver candy to little children, which I think is actually pretty cool. It keeps people away from me, which is something I always enjoy is keeping people away from me. But if you have a system like that and you're going to send pizza dough down that pipe system, I think that's just up and above and beyond. I, I'd be I impressed. I don't think it will go down. Your PVC pipe. Well, you isn't, will pack your pipe and be stuck. Isn't would, razor blades supposed to be putting apples for Halloween? Like, isn't that a thing? There's those oh. are all urban legends. That's it, that's what's funny is this is the first time I've ever heard of a confirmed. No urban one's legend. ever actually put it because I would no, feel like a razor bullshit. blade in an apple is pretty fucking that, noticeable. I, I, that's I think total bullshit. I think last year I may have heard something where it's like this is the first time it actually happened, even though it's been an urban legend for years. But even then, that could have still been an urban legend. It was an urban legend. This was not because the man was arrested. And we have his mugshot and noob noob dead name. And, yes. and, multi and, and <laughs> multiple stores have pulled that pizza, that, that dough from the shelves just in case. So, you, so your dough is safe, folks. And if you do run, a claw, uh, run across Nicholas Mitchell of New Hampshire, ask him why he joined Al Qaeda and why he hates the USA. Also, just do that. you're stupid. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. So from one bomb I'm very stupid. to the next bomb. Yes. To a real bomb, a World War II era bomb. Big bomb. So because it's the, the season of spookiness, the zombie corpse of Hitler has reanimated and exploded his World War II era earthquake bomb in the Polish waters because he hates those Poles. And so Polish Navy divers try so, to remote. So if you're watching on YouTube, definitely open up and look at this full screen right now because we do have the video of this, which I'm going to play right now. Oh, there's a video? And oh there's a t well, you didn't even mention that it's a tall boy, Scott. It's a tall what boy. Is this? Earthquake bomb tall boy. It was a leftover from World War II. Divers Six had times. found it, identified it, and I mean, they knew all about it. They were working a for a long time to, to disarm it. You can see that them inspecting it underwater. There's video now of them looking at it. It's a giant, giant bomb. Nobody, was, nobody was hurt or killed in this thing. 
which is impressive because you look at that. That took up the entire <laughs> effing know, river. Crazy and the a- and the aftermath is also horrendous. Uh, but it was while they were trying to disarm it, and that's when it, I mean, exploded on. They they evacuated. Well, they intentionally detonated it. I, think. They d- I don't I, think that was. An I don't know. I don't know if they intentionally exploded it. It didn't sound. The story didn't sound like it was intentionally exploded. They did evacuate the neighboring towns just in case. But um, there were no divers in the water either. So nah. that's what makes me think they intentionally blew it so up. So no one blew themselves up. No. No. Well, that's an, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. You wanted to see. People I did. Blow yeah. Up. Like, why not? If we're Dude, trying that to restart, was pretty awesome though. So I, I felt that was. We're trying to restart World War II. Why not have some death? A twelve. Well, oh, it was, Jesus Christ! It was a twelve thousand pound World War II bomb. That's why they called they called them earthquake bombs because of how much explosive was in these things. <clears throat> it was in the Polish port city of Swinusza. Swinusza Guzza. Yeah. It was in Sweden. No, it was that not. It was in it was in Sweden. It was in Poland. I Sweden is in Poland. All right. Well, Geographically accurate. The end, <clears throat> but yeah. still, holy crap. <laughs> yes. So and he, Hitler and he, didn't win, and you can see it, it, and you can see it demolished the river <laughs> afterwards. That's going to just exploded that water. That's probably going to be like that for a while. Yes. Mm, yeah, the water's going to look just like that for a while. It's going it to be. Will. It's going to be pretty it screwed up that while. But it's, in the it's, end, it's, it's a river because rivers flow. Yeah, it'll go back to normal real soon, Scott. It probably already is back to normal. <laughs> <laughs> Bootleg did say this is the next attraction action park coming 2021. <laughs> that would be a great ride. You just sit in the water and just get shot up in the air. Shockwave. Oh, <laughs> that sounds like an action park attraction. In here, this hey, might be the next action hey, park attraction. Hey, kids. Hey, hey kids. Hey. Check out the newest attraction in action park. Sit on top of the water and... Just ride that wave. If that's their new wave pool. What is happening? So, so from one wave pool to take let's take flight this time. Yes. Let so this is a follow up story. I think we reported this maybe, I don't know, a couple months back, that a crazy, probably tech billionaire it's it's Mark Zuckerberg. Uh, he is flying a jetpack in LAX. And people, I don't know what is going on here, but this is just crazy. And you know what? And because I missed all the explosions when we were talking about an effing bomb story, I don't know how I messed up on that. I'm just going to keep blowing this guy up. Yes. So this crazy cracker does not know how to fly properly because he has been sighted at 6,000 feet. I think that's like plane distance at that point. Yeah, they saw a p- two airline pilots reported it. You have to, yeah, I wish we, I don't know if we have a recording of what they said, but you can read what they said, I think. They're like, uh, mm, Tower One, uh, we'd like to report that there is a jetpack outside of our window. Thank you. And then, Please. And, then, and then one pilot was like, only in LA. Only, yeah, exactly. Well, here's, here's ground, what I don't get. control, we do want to identify. We have something flying the outside of the plane, and we believe it's a man with a jetpack. <laughs> oh, never mind. It looks like it exploded. <laughs> so this was actually the second time in six weeks an unidentified person was seen flying a jetpack near LA. Ground control, we do believe that we have the rocketeer flying next to our plane. He's signaling to us. We're not sure. Oh, it looks like the gum fell off his tank. I mean, oh. who, what is going on here? Is the world just lost its mind that much that jackasses are flying around with jetpacks harassing planes? Like, what is going on? Look, so, look around you, Z. Yes, it has. <laughs> Th- I mean, for real. Two things. So, one, I would really love the third sighting for him to be sucked into a turbine and killed. <laughs> yeah. That would be hilarious. <laughs> Secondly, how are you not just seeing where this motherfucker's landing? It's a man in a jetpack. Get some binoculars, track him down to the ground, and find him. It's not that fucking hard. It's like you bird watching. You couldn't even find a bird landing in a it's tree. It's bird how watching. You find a jetpack. Unless yeah, it's much bigger. Noob, it's a matter of just being lucky about whether or not you're going to find it. There's, there's stories all the times of drones that fly in FAA airspace or, or aren't supposed to be there. And unless they either, A, track down the guy who's flying it because they're close by and lucky enough to be in the vicinity to find it, or B, the idiots like post it online of the video, they don't always find these people that do this stuff. It's, um, Have you ever seen if someone's, one of those? Yeah, if someone's close enough to be lucky enough to find them, yes. But other than that, he lands, throws it in a van, and they're gone. What are those those hunter drones that the U.S. military uses? Uh, what are they called? Do you remember, Scott? Hunter drones. 
okay, have you ever seen one of those things? I have not. Okay, they're the size of like an actual goddamn plane, and they're remotely operated. But they're operated. fast. Like no, Sonic. they're not. No, they're not. They're, they're not very slow fast, and people like cannot knuckles. find them. Yeah, no, they're they're propeller they're propeller driven. They're not that fast, and you still can't track them. Yeah, they could they they could literally be hovering above you, and you would have no idea, and it would just nuke you with a missile. Like you have no idea. Like finding stuff flying is not easy, especially for someone who is as blind as you are. I can see. Half of the light. The ha- half. There's yes. light. It's light out right now. So is that the outrageous orc tales? That, that is all the, the outrageous orc tales you have. That I think so. Well, those are some amazing orc tales they you are. have. Do I actually want to break in? Oh my god. We have some breaking outrageous orc tales. We want to have some outrageous breaking orc tales straight from the desk. Noob this noob, seems like gonna, a setup. Noob noob. You go ahead and read this as uh, we bring it live to you. Huh. Hold on. <laughs> San Francisco police interrupt sex party in public midgets. <laughs> Emus and a fountain of sp- Oh my god. 71 pe- There's 71 midgets on Earth? Like, what? There were 71 arrests. It doesn't mean that they were all small people. However, we do have more information on this. San Francisco Police Department interrupted an extremely lewd party early this morning in a luxurious residence at Presidio Heights neighborhood, arresting 71 people, seizing two boars, and eight emus. It seems there was a thematic sex party for people with strange fetishes. They had midgets, bearded women, wild animals, and a large outdoor fountain filled with 50 gallons of wow. semen. That is 50 gallons of semen. That's and of course, cool. they also said it was an extremely delicate operation. Hundreds of <laughs> people trying to flee with emus and boars with ball gags in their mouths running around. It was a very chaotic scene, as I think it would be. Oh my God. Why didn't I get an invite first off? Is my main <laughs> Why question. Why were you not invited? I know I'm six three, but fuck it. I'll like I'll knee it. I'll just run around on my knees just to run into a boar's asshole. <laughs> like, hold on. Is that an emu? Is that what emus that look like? That is an emu. That looks like a turkey. You don't you've never that seen an That looks emu like before? a straight up turkey. Like yeah. a big turkey on you've never steroids. Seen an emu? <laughs> what is an emu? <laughs> it that is a two legged bird. That that's looked, an ostrich. You know it, uh, it's smaller than an ostrich, but uh-huh. not as small as a penguin. They said the cops that were there said there was a mix between an orgy and a circus freak show. Immediately calling for backup, they had to try and contain over 500 guests and, of course, catch the wild animals. Were they were the animals having sex? Uh, well, that is part of the problem. It said several people arrested. 31 of the rest were just for underage drinking. Uh, but unfortunately, seven people were accused of bestiality. Oh, uh, bestiality. Oh, uh, uh, that, they were basting well, their chickens. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude, that's not a word that I use often. So apparently you use I'm it much more than I do. Oh, my God. Yes. Since he doesn't even know what an emu is. I do, kn- do what, you know what a boar is? I'm pretty sure. No, I know what a whore is. No, 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 but let you me, don't know what a boar? Let me ask you, Nunu. No, no, where would you secure 50 gallons of semen for a large semen fountain? My local McDonald's. Um, <laughs> I'd ask for that special sauce. You just go in the parking lot of the McDonald's and start to work? Yes. I, I know the extra, the special manager, the night shift manager. He, his name's Jamal. And we have a great relationship. I go over and buy a 40-pound chicky nuggies every two weeks. And he supplies me with honey mustard, barbecue sauce, and animal semen. You get that dip dip? Surprisingly, animal semen. Well, so I, McDonald's does supply animal semen. Oh, right. I hate to tell you, Noob Dude, I've not been able to verify that story. Uh, apparently, it's an older one, but it's made as rounds again. I cannot verify the legitimacy of it, but just in case it's real, I felt like I should uh, let you go ahead and know that that was a thing. So just sure. keep an eye out for your invite. It's in the mail. Yes. yes. So Scott is saying that's fake news. Uh, maybe, maybe and not. Noob, noob it, although for his mail. that may mm-hmm. have been fake news, but the next time it happens will not be because I'm hosting. Uh, oh yes. boy, that sounds gross. Yeah.